Hi everyone, welcome to the brand new video of Nifty Swifty Skincare. In today's video, I will talk everything about Bakuchiol and explain why you should not use it as an alternative to retinol from a chemist perspective. Watch this video because you will learn what is Bakuchiol, the reasons why it can't be used as an alternative to retinol and in the last segment of this video, I will share my personal experience with you so that you can decide whether you should invest in that ingredient or not. So let's start. Before we move on, please subscribe to my channel where I explain skincare products and claims using scientific evidence so that you can decide for yourself what to believe and what to not. Also, you can follow me on my Instagram at Nifty Swifty Skincare where I share all kinds of skincare tips and tricks which I usually don't share on YouTube. I was recently looking for an anti-aging serum in Google. Suddenly, I stumbled upon an anti-aging serum with an ingredient named Bakuchiol. My first impression was how do you pronounce this word? Anyway, I kept looking and found that this specific ingredient named Bakuchiol is claimed to be the better version of retinol. I kept thinking, what is this weird name thing? At first, I thought maybe it's a fruit or bacteria used in skincare products because you know skincare brands usually do these kind of experiments. But as I started digging further, I found out that this is an extract from seeds and leaves of an herb named Babachi. In fact, this extract has been used in Ayurveda for, for many many years to treat aging and it made me more interested. I started reading the blogs and articles related to this ingredient and what I realized is that this ingredient is gaining a lot of attention from skincare brands and skincare nurses due to two reasons. First, it actually triggers the same genetic pathways like retinol and increases the production of collagen and second, it is completely vegan. But then I kept thinking, are there enough reasons or clinical studies to say that actually Bakuchiol is the alternative to retinol. To understand that, first let's understand why this specific ingredient is gaining so much attention nowadays, although it's nothing new. Because it has been used in Ayurveda, which proves that it's been in the skincare for a long time. So why gaining all kind of attention suddenly? So one of the primary reasons why people are actually looking for an alternative to retinol is the irritation caused by the retinol. Retinols are known to cause skin peeling, burning or itching which is known as retinoid dermatitis. As retinoid compounds increases that cell turnover rate, your skin becomes more sensitive and reacts. Due to this uncomfortable feeling, many people stop using retinoid products immediately. In fact, studies also showed that retinoid products can cause peeling for short term but can also cause irritation for long term as well. I can share my experience. When I started using the 0.5% of retinol from the ordinary, my skin didn't take it well. It started peeling, it started itching, what not. My skin was so bad at one point I actually thought of giving up. But you know, I'm a skincare nerd and I like using products so I kept going and over time my skin actually got tolerant to using retinoids. That's why I understand that why people don't like that peeling feeling, what I'm saying like why people don't like that burning sensation. But the thing is as time goes by your skin actually got tolerant to retinoid products and once it gets used to with retinoids you get the best skin possible ever unfortunately many people are not patient when it comes to skincare and they want instant results so when they see that using retinol or retinoid products actually causing peeling or burning they immediately run and throw away the product from that perspective, I understand why there is a demand for an alternative to retinol and I don't blame them. I mean, if you get an option where you can get the youthful firm skin but with less irritation, why wouldn't you choose that? But what if we keep the irritation aside and think, is it actually possible to use Bakuchiol as an alternative to retinol? Does it really work like retinol? I mean, if you search in Google, they will say that yes, it is of course, but let me tell you one thing, it is not. Hear me out when I say Bakuchiol and Retinol are not the same. In fact, they both are two different molecules, 
who act in completely different ways. Bakuchiol has a complete different molecular structure than retinol and of course they are being used in anti-aging skincare products and behave similarly but that doesn't mean they are the same. I mean peptides also are being used in anti-aging skincare but you can't say that peptides are an alternative to retinol. The structure of Bakuchiol is larger and belongs to the class of terpenophenol. In a molecular level, I can assure you that the structure of Bakuchiol doesn't resemble vitamin A compounds at all. And the most interesting part, although both Bakuchiol and retinol increase the production of collagen, Bakuchiol doesn't act via the retinoic acid receptors. So there are some similarities between the structures and the activities, but Bakuchiol is not retinol or vitamin A. I mean, you don't have to be a chemist to understand that two molecules, they never work in the same way unless they belong to the same class. And Bakuchil is an entirely different molecule than retinol, so don't expect them to work in the same way. So just because a plant extract is increasing the production of collagen, you can't say it is an alternative to retinol. The question arises, how good is the efficiency of this ingredient named Bakuchiol? What are the clinical studies? How are the results? What do they look like? I don't know how many blogs you are reading or how many books you are reading. If you want to know whether an ingredient works or not, you have to check its clinical studies. And here, retinol scores more than Bakuchiol. Vitamin A derived skincare products were proven to work in large randomized trials. There are a ton of researches which back that retinoids products are the best in anti-aging skincare. Sadly, there are not many clinical studies in Bakuchiol and so many are yet to be collected. Even though the ingredient was isolated first in 1966, there are not many clinical studies done after that. And you know what it means, right? Not enough clinical studies means not enough proof. So I know what you might be thinking, that if there are not many evidence, why these skincare brands or the blogs are claiming it is an alternative to retinol? I mean, on what basis they are saying that it is an alternative to retinol? And here it is. There are two studies which actually showed that Bakuchiol showed promising results for removing aging signs and also fighting hyperpigmentation. In one study conducted in 2014, researchers actually used one synthetic skin and collagen cell culture to test the anti-aging benefit of Bakuchiol. What they found is Bakuchiol had a similar gene expression and collagen regulation like retinol. But focus on my word, similar, not same. The first part of the study was conducted using artificial skin and disembodied cells so the researchers decided that they want to use Bakuchiol in real life practices. So what they did, they took 16 participants where they applied 0.5% of Bakuchiol every day twice for 12 weeks. By the end of the study, the participants actually saw some improvements in their skin in case of elasticity, wrinkles and roughness. Also, they didn't see the side effects of the usual retinal application like skin peeling or burning. In another interesting study conducted in 2018, researchers actually took 44 participants and divided them in two groups. One group received 0.5% of Bakuchiol to be applied twice in a day and another group received 0.5% of retinol to be applied once in a day. The results were evaluated by dermatologists who didn't know that which group is using what. But end of the results, they found out that both of the groups were having significant improvement in case of wrinkles and hyperpigmentation. But in case of the Bakuchiol group, they had less irritation compared to the retinal group. And bam, that's all. These two studies actually gave hope to the skincare brands and the people who are looking for an alternative to retinal. But that's all. This is the only evidence you have for Bakuchiol which claim that actually Bakuchiol can be used as an alternative. So if you are already thinking of including Bakuchiol in your routine because it causes less irritations, wait. The Journal of Contact Dermatitis reported two cases of allergic reactions to Bakuchiol since June 2019. So if you think that it's a vegan substance, so it won't cause an allergic reaction to your skin, you are wrong. 
vegan doesn't mean safe always. And although the reactions to bakuchiol is not as frequent and severe like retinol, it's not 100% safe either. So bakuchiol is a different molecule than retinol, it's not completely reaction free and then it doesn't have enough clinical studies. So how can you say it's an alternative to retinol? I mean, I get it, it doesn't burn, but even though retinol burns, it actually works and there are tons of research to back it up. And it's not like you will get reactions with retinol forever. Eventually your skin gets used to retinol and then you get the best skin, right? And sometimes it's not the retinol, it's more about how you're applying it. So if you want to know how to apply retinol so that you don't have any reactions, let me know in the comment below, I can make a video for you. After considering all those facts I told you so far, I don't know how people can say that bakuchiol is an alternative to retinol. It doesn't make any sense to me. And I know there are some people who actually suggest to use bakuchiol and retinol together. I understand that. I mean, yes, I can use bakuchiol with retinol, but then what's the point of saying it as an alternative, right? I mean, if you are using it with retinol, how come that is an alternative? You get my point, right? But you might say, hey, Salmin, bakuchiol is vegan and retinol is not. Now, I understand many people prefer vegan and it's completely their choice. I respect that. But my question is why you need bakuchiol as a vegan retinol when you can have retinol vegan itself? Shocked much? I know many people know that retinol is sourced from animals, but you'd be surprised to know that retinol can be sourced from plants and fruits as well. It's a huge misconception that retinoids are only derived from animal sources like beef, chicken liver, eggs and fish. Retinoids can also be sourced from plants and vegetables like carrots, sweet potatoes, rose hip, cantaloupes, etc. I know many people don't know about it and the mechanism to get vegan retinol is pretty complicated. But let me break it down for you. Vitamin A comes from two sources. One group called retinoids, which includes retinol, comes from animal sources and another group called carotenoids comes from plants and vegetables, which includes beta-carotene. And this beta-carotene, when applied to your skin, converts into retinols. And research backs this up. One study actually showed the conversion of beta-carotene to retinols using human skin and mice. When you apply beta curtain on your skin, it first converts into retinoid esters. Later, your skin converts these retinoid esters into retinol using many steps. The problem is the more steps involved, the more an ingredient loses its potency along the way. And as beta carotene takes several steps to convert to retinol, they are selected for specific concentrations by cosmetic chemists. It's very hard for consumers to understand what percentage of beta carotene is converting to retinol because from outside you will never be able to know unless you are a cosmetic chemist. Because carotenoids are found in plants, those people who are looking for vegan options, they can actually choose beta carotene as their vegan retinol and they can have that anti-aging benefit as well. I know there are not many evidence and the conversion is pretty complicated to understand, but still, I proved my point, right? It's a vegan retinol. As vegan is the new trend now, many conscious brands are also trying to synthesize vegan retinol in their lab. The vegan retinol synthesized in lab of those specific brands are synthesized in a way that they mimic the retinols available in nature. When I searched for the lab synthesized vegan retinol in Google, I found an interesting piece in the website of Goop. A well-known natural brand named Tata Harper actually claimed that they take their retinol from rose hips. Yes, you heard it right, rose hips. Rose hip has transretinoic acid, a vitamin A derivative, which they actually synthesized in their lab. Also, they've mentioned that the retinol synthesized from rose hip causes less irritation and provides all the anti-aging benefits like retinol. I know what you are thinking. Hey Salmin, does this vegan retinol synthesized in lab work same as the traditional retinoids? Guess my answer? Hell yeah! It 100% does. 
Vegan actually refers to the formulation, not the retinol itself. So as long as it's a retinal, it would work the same way as the other retinals. I mean, whether it's a vegan or a normal one, I mean the traditional one, all of the retinals work in the same way. So I showed you that you can actually get the vegan option of retinal either from the beta carotene or from the lab. That's why I'm coming back to my original question. Why there is a need of bakuchiol when we have the option? We are getting a vegan retinal either from beta carotene or from the lab. I mean, it doesn't make any sense to me. Does it make sense to you? Let me know in the comment section. Considering the lack of clinical evidences, the structure and the vegan options of retinal, I would say that there is no necessity of another ingredient like bakuchiol to be treated as an alternative to retinal. And I would not spend my money after an ingredient like bakuchiol which has so less evidence and just because it produces collagen like retinol does, it doesn't mean that bakuchiol is the alternative to retinol or it works same as the retinol. But then again, there is a problem. If you are pregnant and can't use retinol, I would suggest you to go for bakuchiol because it is a safer option. Also, if you are just starting your retinal journey, I can say that maybe give bakuchiol a try. Who knows, your skin might like it. And as I said, that is a gentler version. Maybe your skin benefits from it. So there is no harm giving it a try. But bakuchiol as an alternative to retinol, no, no, and no. I told you that Bakuchil is not an alternative to retinal, but why do I think that and what was my experience? I'm going to share it with you now. My recent experience with Bakuchil was from a serum from Biosense. I know many of you are familiar with the phytoretinal serum of Biosense. Yeah, the phytoretinal means Bakuchil eventually. Before I share you my experience, just I'm giving you some background information. I have been using retinal, it's been like one year and I use the 0.5% retinal from the ordinary. Also recently I have started using differing gel which is 0.1% adapalene. So my experience with retinal has been long, like I have been using retinal for a long time. I bought the phytoretinal serum just because I was curious and I wanted to see is it really an alternative to retinal. As I mentioned earlier that retinal actually caused a lot of reactions on my skin because my skin is sensitive. So my skin was peeling, it was burning but I kept going on and at one point actually my skin started liking it. When I started using the phytoretinal serum from Biosense, I was really hopeful. I was hoping that it would give me some reasons to ditch my retinal, but unfortunately it didn't. Um, my skin didn't peel, of course, my skin, skin was not burning, but I didn't see anything significant as well. So I, the results were okay, it was, it was just okay. From my personal experience, I can say that yes, bakuchiol is gentler and it's a good ingredient which won't cause any irritation to your skin, but it is not an alternative to retinal. And if I buy bakuchiol in future, I would buy to complement my retinal, not to uh, replace it. So that's it for today. If you are someone like me who thinks bakuchiol is just a gimmick, let me know in the comment sections. Also, if you are someone who disagree with me, I understand you, I respect your opinion, but I am curious to know why you think bakuchiol is an alternative to retinol. Please let me know in the comment section. Before I say goodbye to you, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, also like this video and share this video as much as possible. I mean, you can press the like button now as well, I am waiting. If you like this video, YouTube algorithm will like it too. Also, don't forget to press the bell button to stay updated about my new videos. I post two videos weekly, so stay tuned and keep an eye on my channel. My name is Salmin and I will catch you on my next video. Ciao!